Hi, I'm uh, Jeremy. Right there. And you're watching Let's Taco About It. We got the combos over tacos and some special guests. And we sent your ass to host. We're here with another great episode of Let's Talk About It, episode two. And we're in Hollywood, California. Uh, we came out from Orange County to meet the man, the myth, the legend himself, Ron Jeremy. He wrote here and he says here, so Ron, I'm looking at his notes. How long have you been looking just like Brad Pitt? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Ron, Ron is hung like, like a, hung like a whale. Are you are you hung like a whale? Yeah, it's the largest creature on earth. You? No, that's a nice thought. But the, yeah, you can say that whatever you like. Run out to the street there and say Ron. But the the, uh, the whale. It's it's, it's, it's it's a mammal. A whale's a mammal. And it has the largest penis. There's dolphin. I'll tell you something else. This is very educational. A dolphin, a dolphin, and a whale. It's the same name. You know what that is? What's that? A dork. Ah. It's called a dork. A dork. The schmeckle's called a dork? Uh, a schmeckle. The fish is called a dork. You know why the dolphin took that name? Why is that? Did it on porpoise. Come on! Oh, oh hey! Hey! Well, here all week, folks. Try the video. We're all week, yeah. That was, that was, that was, that was, right was worth it. Yeah, wait, that was worth the wait. That's, that, well, that's, you heard that before. Really? Thank yeah. you. Speak, hey. Speaking of Spanish, you see, oh. I can relate to you guys. I'll tell you why. Why? Uh, because uh, I'm from New York. Okay. Which is which all Spanish. <laughs> and also, I opened up for Fluffy. Gabriel, oh, Gabriel Gabriel Iglesias. I actually opened up for him. Okay. And I was, he was doing a venue, and he said, listen, why don't you open up for me one gig? I was doing comedy around the country. And I said, you serious? Good game. But I said, Gabri Gabriel, your, your material is clean. You're on television. I'm not. He yeah. goes, I prefer it that way. And all of his opening acts are very nasty. Yeah, really? He, he keeps it clean, yeah. Fluffy's nasty in the opening act? No, he's not, but his opening act His opening act are, okay. Now you, he, he likes it like that. So uh, we, did, we did a great show together and had, you know. Now you, you said you're from New York, Queens, New York, right? You said your uh, your dad was an astrophysicist, your mom uh, worked for the OSS, right? During World War II. During World War II. And, um... That became the CIA in the late 40s. So you, but you... You were doing porn for the last, what, decade or so, and now you're off to acting, right? You're doing acting now? No, I, was, I, I got into porn when I was, seven, uh, when I was um, 1978. Now, now. Oh, well, what, what does it make now? 88, 98, 100, yeah. 41 years so I've been doing porn. I heard the story. Why I'm so tired? I heard this story, and uh, tell me if I'm, I'm right. I heard you were, when you first started doing porn, your dream was to become an actor, right? And then you couldn't make it in, well, not that you couldn't make your first gig. You know, you don't, you, you, I didn't really try hard enough. I was doing things, I was doing, you know, adult stuff. And it was, remember, back in those days, a lot more story. Okay. You had, you had a film camera, no video, wasn't invented yet. No VHS, no beta cam, no interactive CDs, no CDs, no internet. It was like no, VHS, no holograms, right? No, it was just like a single movie, that's all there was. There was no VHS. When I got in the biz in 1978, when dinosaurs were on the earth, well, there was just film. That's what it was. It was just film. Wow. You just played in theaters. You can't even take it home with you. Yeah. So that's, you, that's if we're back we're talking. You couldn't take a video home because videos were not invented yet. You sound like Bert Reynolds and Boogie Nights. Film, film. Well, you, you knew. Yes, that's a true story. Because Bobby Hollander, who Bert was kind of playing, we did not want to go for that transition. Because any director wants to feel like a director. He wants to direct film, not shot on video, because it has a less, maybe class. It's a, you know, it's, you don't have that same little look and the hues or whatever you want to call it. The, the, the beautiful colors and you get from film, you know? Now, you actually knew John Holmes from Boogie Nights, right? Yes. I consulted Boogie Nights. Oh, wow. If you look at the movie, you'll see consultant Ron John. Did you do any cameos in there? Yeah, yeah, but they cut it out. Uh, I, also had a, I also had a cameo and I consulted nine and a half weeks. Okay. Mickey Ross, Ross Mickey Ross music? Yeah. What do you consult on? What exactly are you consulting? Got casting, they come to my sets. And Boogie Nights, the whole cast came to my set. Except Burt Reynolds. He said, I don't got to go to a porn site. I know what they're like, you know. He, now, fi they... he fired his agent after Boogie Nights came out. 
Then he got nominated for a, uh, a Golden Globe Award. I wanted to know if you hired his agent back. I wouldn't have to. Now, when you do Boogie Nights, uh, or when you do like these these adult films, like such as Boogie Nights, do they do they actually uh, have sex on set or no? People have said they have. Like Bruce Dern claims he had sex with Maud Adams when they did the film Tattoo. Right. I think Eric Estrada. I think he said he messed around with a girl in front of he was doing once. Some soap opera stars have said that they've done playful things in on a set. Some say it gets us into character. And come on, you're an actor, you can get into character. You want to play hide the bake is what you want to do. You know? Now, going back to your, your early start in the Shoot porn. the Sherbert. Shoot the Sherbert. <laughs> Train the main vein. Going back to your start in the... Squeeze the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how long can we go? I, I won't disturb it anymore. No, 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 no. no. no I, I do want to ask you a question. Is it true when Spank you... Spank the monkey. I knew it was more. I, you get, I knew it, that you knew. Is it true when you got your start in the, your porn career that you gave... Or people were looking up your home phone number, calling you, and they, your grandma kicked you out? Papa Walters mentioned that on The View. It was great. Yeah. Because it's a true story. Um, uh, I, I used my real last name the first time. I didn't know any better. Did they make you change? Did, did your parents make you change your name? Yes. The, 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 I was getting phone calls night and day from gay guys. My grandmother called them sissies. <laughs> saying, who is Ron there? They looked up my, my personal last name. I got the Bayside Queens directory. And they were getting the right apartment, wrong house. They were getting my grandmother, who's Rose. And I'm Ron, so she's getting, she got my calls. And then my, my, dad, my dad and sister had to ship her up to Schenectady for that month to be with my aunt and uncle and to look after her because she had to get out of the house for a month. The phone would stop ringing. So my dad and my sister sat me down. This was Barbara Walters' favorite story. Uh, you know, the, the view. She loved this story. Because tell me about that time your, grand, your poor grandma had to leave town. And she did. So during the duration of the month while my magazine was in, uh, she did. Then she came back when the, it was off the shelf. But it was the first erection Playgirl had. They were kind of like the, uh, you know, Playboy to Playgirl was, you know, that kind of thing. Was it, was it, you know, when you first started porn, was it hard breaking through to that industry? Like your first scene, going from acting to porn. I mean, you, you obviously you're new. Oh, at it. You don't. Let me, let me, let me just finish. Go ahead. The other thing. He jumps around real quick sometimes. So when it was over and the, the month was out, I went back to, uh, my grandma went back home, and my dad said, that, That's your order, man. So I'll get it. <laughs> All right. Wait. So what happened was, Ron, Ron doesn't want it. Ron got the story to tell. One more thing. Almost there, buddy. Oh, guys, yeah, yeah. Almost there. Wanna... That's so what happened what he was, said. So my dad, my sister, the whole family, my mom, my sister, my mom, my dad, uh, everyone except my grandmother, and uh, all my cousins and uncles that sat me down when they had a big thing. Ron, don't you ever use the family name again. I said, what name should I use? Use your middle name. And I said, you know, that's, that's true. Jeremy's middle name is Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. That's how you got ah, Ron Jeremy. That's uh, Ron Jeremy. You know who did a special on that? That actor had um, uh, a great, great, great comedian actor. He was on, he was on TV. And he, not Bill Maher, the other guy. Did it you white guy? He did a thing about two guys with two, 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 two first Ma. names. Not Bill Maher, the other guy. Because he said, yeah, we have it, see, we went, we Ron went, Jeremy, two first names. Me, two first names. We John, John, game, John. No, he's, he's, wait, John, he's right on that. John, it was somebody talking about, wasn't George Carlin? No, well, John. Was somebody talking about, why do people have two last first names? That's right. Well, I, I mean, Latinos, we always do that, right? Always. We always like put that. They actually got more food stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you know, Luis, Valenzuela. And then, yeah, it's the reverse set. Then say the other way around. Yeah, yeah. And then, Keep going. You, you have a great way of telling stories since the minute you oh, answer the call. You See what I mean? Oh, there's your order, Ron. Let's do this, man. <laughs> All right, we're here at Calle Tacos. Is that how you say it, Calle Tacos? Yeah, Calle Tacos. Calle Tacos. And we're with Ron Jeremy. You, you know who Ron Jeremy is? He's he's a star. He's, he's done a lot of uh, bad, uh, nasty films. But then he's, he's, he's very talented, so he's done a lot of good... Film two, clean film, right, Ron? Really big smile. Yeah. Really big smile. Great guy. Very talented guy. We're here with him. I've got nothing to say now with that kind of introduction. <laughs> All right. Uh, let, let's do that introduction. All right. We'll cut that one out. We're here with uh, Ron. Wait a minute. Why not? Hey, 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 it was a good hey. introduction. That was a good introduction? Okay, we can do it. You cutting out dead. It was perfect. All right, perfect, what? perfect. All right. But Kaya Tacos is the, is yes, the name of the business. Tacos. Can you can you kind of give us a little bit of insight as to what we're eating here? Because it yes. all looks so delicious. So you have your carne asada tacos right here with uh, the cilantro. Yeah, and your guacamole with okay. a splash of cozilla cheese. Uh -huh. And then you have your guacamole with your dip of guacamole chips. And then you have your salsa on the side with your condiments. 
And then how long have you guys been in business? About five, six years. Okay. And then there's a second one in Dubai. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dubai. Yeah. There's wow. There's a second one they got where, where Dubai. famous for fish tacos. They like the Mexican food in Dubai? They love the fish tacos. Yeah. I love the Dubai. fish tacos. Yeah. Fish tacos. So if you go online, you can see all their plating. It's pink tacos. Very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> The, mo the Moon is the Moon family owns it. They sell the Hot Rock Hotel. They oh, sell the entire hotel, but they say Pink Taco to own it. Are you shitting me right now? Is that, is that really the name of the business? Pink Taco is with Donald Trump and he's going to Vegas. Oh, wow. Oh. Sweet. See, we're from Orange County, so Ron's from out here, obviously. Danny Trejo. Oh, Trejo Tacos. I try, you know what? You know what, Ron? I try to get Danny. I'm a three film. I try to get us to go down there, and I talked to and uh. I don't know, it didn't happen for whatever reason, but, um... You have family and have Ron Jeremy, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but we're here. Guy and Taco, we're here. Did they give a reason? Uh, yeah, they did. I don't know if you want to know the reason, but yeah. Well, you probably yeah. figure it out. Tell me later. Uh, I'll tell you later. Um, but, um, we're here now, and we're having such a good meal with Ron, Leo, myself, Sancho Loco, Mark, and your, yourself. Julie, yeah. All right, Julie. Thank you for having us. We no appreciate problem. you uh, explaining the food to us. No problem. And look us, uh, look out for us on YouTube. Oh, okay. Just Everybody here was really nice. Yeah. The gentleman you got working up there, yeah. I know he's going to school to be an engineer, but he's going to talk about hotel services. The guy is so nice with people. He's really, really wonderful. And thank you for bringing the music. Are you going to school? Yeah. What are you going to do? Trying going to be a vet. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have a dog, so it's expensive to take him to the doctor. Good for you. Yeah. I think you'll do well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having us. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm on Jeremy. Right there. And you're watching Let's Talk All About It. You mind giving us a harmonica little song that you played in the car? I seen you play one, man. All right. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Ron, man. We appreciate the interview. I play violin, piano, and harmonica. And the skin flute. And the skin flute. That's right. Watch it. We got no combos over tacos and some special guests. And we sent your ass on host.